A beneficial exercise that we conduct with our users during our paid onboarding programs is the relationship between the case details page and the settings. This gives the users an idea of the case detail screen and how it relates to certain items. For example, let's go through each one of these items on the case detail screen and I'm going to show you how they relate to the settings and where the information comes from or how to set these options up so that those are available in your system so you can customize your cases depending on how you work. The first is the client information. You can see we have a primary client, a paralegal client, and a secondary attorney client. Well, where do those come from? I'm gonna click on settings and go to client types. That list that we just mentioned, those options are all here. Secondary attorney, paralegal, and of course you have a primary client. The next one is the case type which is right here and is insurance if we're going to go back to settings and under case customization we're going to look at case types inside the system you want to distinguish between case types and case services you can see here the insurance is a case type which is listed in our case if you need more information on case types and case services, there's a video that covers that exact topic. Going back over to our case, we have the date referred, relationship to patient, and here we have case tags. Case tags are under case customization as well. If you click on settings again, case customization, here's your case tags. These are ways to designate certain types of cases with a label that you can group together. Say you wanted to take a look at all cases from a new client. If your cases were marked and tagged as new client, those would be able to be pulled. The next is the objective. How do I get this objective note here? And that's done by case notes. And when you create a new note, the note type would be objective. So click Add Note. When you're selecting a note type, select Objective. And whatever you type in this area will show up on the Objectives page as it did here. So going back to the Case Detail screen, here's your primary subject information, and that's just added in Fields. If you ever need to change any of this information, you click on edit and that'll open the screen and you can edit all of the information inside of a case, including clients, case services, your case information, subject information, and you can also schedule the case out to the investigators as well as add phones or edit phones and vehicles. I'm gonna click cancel and go back to the case detail screen over on the right hand side you have tasks. These are just simple tasks or reminders that you can add to a case. The budget is formed from the information that you originally put in the case and also is deducted based on the budget that you use. Now where do these items that we're rolling over in the quick view come from? By the way, you can click on the I and get all this information that I just displayed here. Where does the information for the budget come from? That's going to be taken out of your billing and expenses tab. If you click on that, it'll bring you to that page and show you where your items that are listed in billing and expenses are coming from. Let's go back to the case detail screen. Here you have the service information. These are the services that you're going to perform on this particular case. With this one, we are going to do a surveillance. We're going to do a background check. And we're also going to do a gym canvas on this subject. Now, where do these services come from? Click on settings. And under case customization, you have service. These are all the services that you perform 
different tasks on different investigations include things like surveillance, process service, the individual services that you offer. For more information on those, there's a video titled Case Services where it shows how to add and edit the services inside of a case. So to recap this case details overview, all of these sections are customizable for your particular needs. So you can add the type of clients, the type of cases, the tags, case objectives, budgets, service information, and everything that surrounds your case details. In order to edit the case details, click on Edit Case and that'll open up the screen. In order to change any of these settings or customize the system how you would like related to your cases, most of those are found here under the case customization items. Your case numbers, your case tags, your case types, your client types like we just went over, along with your services and your subject types. If you have cases that require multiple subjects like witnesses, spouse, things of that nature, you can add those under subject type in the case customization.